Hello folks, the Sunglass Kid here, and as my mouse has just demonstrated, it's getting old. It, I was about to record this film, but then it clicked record, then stop again. This little guy has a bad habit of double clicking. Really annoying when you're web surfing and when you're playing Team Fortress 2. When you're trying to heal a guy's medic regardless. Uh, you'd think that the keyboard itself, an old Logitech wireless itself, love the thing, Except that the keys themselves are starting to die out as well. In fact, when I was playing Team Fortress 2, all of a sudden I realized I stopped moving forward. In fact, when I was trying to type out comments on other things as well, I had to punch the keys repeatedly for, for them to get to work. So, it's about time I retire the old boards for the new hotness. For the key, for this old thing, I figured I'd stick with Logic Tech. I get myself one of these, a Logitech, what is that, S310, oh sorry, K310, a washable keyboard, mostly because of my fine dining, you know, ramen and pizza and all that, and it's easily cleanable and it's washable, even comes with a little brush on the back, so I'm going to be testing that, Submers submersible only to about 12 inches or so, but still, you don't expect to go underwater with this, and to replace the mouse, I actually got in the path from Amazon.com as soon as I came back from the evening, which is, explains the weird costume here. This, which I'm about to do a live unboxing, one take dealio. So, here is the little tab. Let me clean it up here. Yeah, come on, reveal to me your secrets. Ooh, I like the box already. Okay. Ship to, yep, that's me. Ah, profit. Power. PC gaming mouse, seven key. Professional gaming mouse for button, DPI switch, and game firing keys. Which I'm hoping to, look at that little fella there. Isn't she a beauty? Which is gonna come in handy because with Team Fortress 2, I can finally map uh, the voice command to maybe this little guy here, the little back key, so I don't have to, uh, you know, uh, reach down and awkwardly try to hold down V. Velcro in. Oh, come on! <sighs> there she is itself. Isn't she gorgeous? Hopefully this one won't double click as much as the old one. Multi uh, gaming mode. Press the left fire change. You know what? I'll worry about that later. Right now, I'm going to worry about unboxing this and replace this old thing. I'm going to require a volunteer. Um, shoot. Uh, one second. I need to get one of the special tools. Ah. Another thing I got from uh, Amazon.com. By the way, thanks, Grammy, for the Amazon.com gift card. Ah. need to get it off my keys. It's a little utility key. Specifically, the reason I'm gripping it as such is because this little blade on here that's very sharp. Oh dear. Also, it's very hard to open up. In fact, it's so sharp that the uh, TSA has banned people from traveling with it. Understandable, because it's a sharp little sucker. So, we're going to start unboxing this fellow here. Let's see. Ah, come on. Get in there. And try not to take my eye out. Uh... Benefit, if I do take an eye out, I can cosplay as Nick Fury or maybe the White Demo Man. Urgh, nah, I won't do that. That's just... He has to be a... A Black Scottish Cyclops! Okay, come on. Get that. And... This? Okay, it should be simple. There we go. Why is there a little tab like that in there? Oh, I know what it's for. It's to hold together the pretty little... Cord, here it comes. Ugh. Ah, look at it. Isn't it beautiful? And also look at this side. Actually, you know what? let's get it out of its package here. Ah, so that's what the little tab is for. To it's tape. Okay. And get that um, done. Okay. Okay, we'll put that to the side. Aha! There, see? Comes a little brush on the back. Complete with the uh, full proof. Dick! Ah! Yeah. There. Clean all the Cheeto dust or stray nail clippings. Trust me, you've done it. Now, to see if I want to. Okay. 
Nah, let's, I'll worry about it later. Meantime, let's get this sucker. Be free! Free! There we go. Oh boy. Recycling man's gonna love me tomorrow. Okay. There's that. Aha! He even comes with. He comes with a nifty little cap, so obviously when you clean it, you don't accidentally get it. Now, oh my gosh, this thing feels light. What's this? English, warning, choking hazard, no kidding. Let's see. Oh! Setup guide. Uh, okay, probably useful. Uh, turn on computer, connect your uh, keyboard to a USB port. English, uh, the more information and support for your product to uh, browse online for Arcos up, useful tips. Yes, it's a keyboard. Push buttons and it makes things happen. Uh, there it is. Just plug and play, really. Uh, disconnect keyboard, attach a USB cap. I'm assuming that's uh, this little guy here. Which, by the way, ugh, come on. Well, that's as good news because it won't come off easily. There it is. All right, uh, wash using dishwashing liquid and keyboard brush. Rinse thoroughly to remove all dishwashing liquids. Wash should be less than 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Fair enough. Uh, don't submerge the cable. Don't use the dishwasher. Don't use abrasive alcohol solvents or detergents. Okay, so pretty much uh, some Dawn or something. Dry room temperature. Wipe clean with towel. Air dry overnight. Don't use a hot air dryer. Hmm, good news there. Reconnect keyboard. Let keyboard dry eight hours before reconnecting. The holes on the back of the keyboard have been designed for holes. What holes? Oh, these little guys right here. Very clever of you. Ooh, I like the sound of that. As opposed to that, you know, I won't, I won't, I won't touch that. Mostly because it's still plugged in. But not for long. What's this? Uh, choking hazard. Yeah, recycle pile. Important information. Uh, long motion using it. Yeah, okay, pretty much take breaks uh, so you don't get fatigued. So, now you get to see my beautiful chest, ladies. Okay, here, here. Here's the plug. Ah! Huh, surprised there hasn't been any warnings. Yep, there it is. Okay, come on. Uh, the thing I'm fiddling with right now, and the thing that's actually caught in it, is little wireless uh, receiver. Very handy, because uh, there weren't any lights for the uh, A function and uh, numbers lock and caps lock. As you can see, it's been a while. So, I will no longer be needing the batteries there. Okay. Now, in order to set this up right, put that up. That up. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, little including instructions. Max 50, 30 inches. Oh, 11 inches. My bad. It's not a full foot. It's off by one. Don't submerge the cable. Uh, whatever that is. Oh, max clean time of five minutes. Fair enough. Oh my gosh. The thing is so compact. Okay. Let me show you this for a minute. Here is. Yeah, that's my IRL name. Get used to it. Here's how much of a uh, footprint the old key, my new keyboard has. And now, if you'll pardon me for a second, uh, this is how much room the old one took. Oh yeah, fair enough. There was a uh, wrist-mounted, uh, resty hand thing there. Maybe I need to invest in one of those. So. Ah! You want to go hunting for that. Okay. Put that down. And now we put this in. Oh my gosh. There's so much room! Now. Let's plug. And hopefully. Take an inaugural test drive of Team Fortress 2. Not with this. Originally, I was looking to get some gaming computers gaming keyboards because I play TF2 surprisingly a lot. What? Uh, installing dry device driver software, good for you. Click here for status. I'd love to, but I don't have a mouse anymore. Or do I? Okay. 
Now, the reason why the TSA don't want to bring in along the utility. It can slice straight through plastic. Ah, stickers. Beware the stickers. Okay. Let's get that in there. Like magic, almost. I just need to get <coughs> it off. Got to stab myself in the chest with something that looks like a key. There we go, just poke it in. Ah! And now, this fancy little thing comes out to put. Oh! <laughs> so you have to get used to a cord now again. But good news, I don't have to fuss around with batteries anymore. Remove this. And. Oh. Oh, I like that. Wired optical mouse. Look at that. Look at that beauty right there. Okay, this is going to be my power-up key in Man vs. Machine. This is going to be my talk key. Hopefully, I don't know if I could set it up or not. I'll leave comments down below um, how I'll be able to set it up. This little button here, I plan to set up for uh, my uh, spy key. Just look at someone and go, I see spy! As opposed to fiddling around with X then 2. Oh good, I didn't mess with anything there. So, let us release the cord there. And now, uh, hmm, shouldn't be too much of an issue. <laughs> Be gone with you, de demon double clicker. Yeah, you're gonna be looking for a signal for quite a while there, bug. Now, um. Uh, Wow, that's a hefty look at that thing. Look at that, that's, that's pretty hefty for a USB plug. And now I shall plug you in there. There we go. All right. Now, my new input devices. Let's see how well. <gasps> Woohoo! I have a mouse again. All right. Now, let's see how Team Fortress 2 gets along. Until then, this is Sunglass Kid signing out. Remember, if your mouse is double-clicking, it's about time to get a new one.